So I was lying in bed last night, and for some reason it occurred to me that I don't think I turned the power on on the boat when I was up there last week. So uh, today's Monday. I did the self-survey last Tuesday. So yeah, it's been six days. And came up here, and sure enough, I have the shore power set to off. So what's interesting here is the fridge is on DC power because it's wired direct. This is actually one of the things I always forget about, but I intended to rewire the fridge so it's on this blower breaker, which is not active, just so I have a means to bypass the DC power supply to the fridge. There really isn't anything in here. Let's see, we got some peanut butter, pickles, condiments, a couple beverages. Some I oh, some acai, still frozen. So here's the question. So it's been sitting here for six days. The weather has been mild. Nice chunk. Um, what's the charge state of my house batteries from six days? So we're at 12.52 volts. That's a good sign. There's no load right now. We pulled a mere 72 amp hours. And oh good, our charge state's at 74%. So what's interesting is that is uh, when we're using the boat off grid, offshore power out of Catalina, uh, we draw down, um, I don't know, that's probably two days of load when we're using the systems on board and the fridge is getting opening and closed throughout the day. to kick in. There it goes. All right, so the next thing I'm going to tackle today is my little biohazard that's growing in the bilge. I intended to bring up, uh, I got a little 3M respirator at home. I was going to bring that, throw that on, and uh, just get the brush out and elbow grease it. Forgot to bring the respirator, but uh, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm thinking I may use the salt water wash down hose, run that in through the aft cabin companionway. And if I could control the salt splatter, I'm thinking using salt water would be more likely to kill the spores and bits that are down there, and prevent it from growing again, as opposed to using fresh water. Well, let's take a look. Alright, well, I will say it looks worse on camera than it does in person. Um, it's just these like little spore thingies. There's more up here though. I'm going to have to get a scraper or something to deal with that. Weird. Uh, and the stuff that looks all black and menacing, to the eye, it's only, uh, it's not that extreme. Same thing. It's just, uh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, like that section. I look at that with my eyes. It just looks like dirt discoloring. And it's not, like uh, weird. All right, I'm going to get the hose in here, get the brush going, find some gloves. All right, that was gross, but it, not too bad. It scrubbed right up. Oh, I still got a little bit there. I can't actually see down in there when I'm scrubbing, but that's saturated in salt water now, so hopefully it kills whatever it is, but the rest of it came up. Oh, 
Also worked on the engine room side. <clears throat> that was a little bit more growth on that wood. I scrubbed that piece of plywood. So it's clean, it's just this colored. Oh, maybe I'll hit it with some bleach next. What is that? 